person I've ever met. All I'm asking is, let me be the one that's going to be there for you, to, to care for you. Am I, am I asking for too much?
to dinner. I'm ready to go with you. <sighs> this is a dream come true. So how do I look? You look trendy. Dazzling. You are so gorgeous in your beautiful, exquisite attire. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Enough. Stop flattering me. So, where do we go? Anywhere. I'm all yours. I'm gonna take you to the best restaurant in town. We're gonna spoil you rotten. I cannot wait. Just you and I. I can wait. <sighs> I never expected to see you at this time. What is going on here? As you can see, I am moving on. Your brother, the prince, is no longer coming back. I cannot wait for a man who has no respect for promises. My brother, your prince, has respect for promises. He never broke vows. And will keep all the promises he ever made with you. But you must be patient. Till when? He's coming back soon. I do not believe that theory anymore. Enough of this waiting game. This man, I know him very well. He's an enemy of your destiny. Don't follow him. This man... Hey! He's only covering up for his deceitful, disloyal and treacherous brother. Both of them are time wasters. You and your brother are time wasters. He is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Victoria, don't allow this deceiver into your life. It is your enemy and the enemy of your husband. Your husband is coming back soon. And from all indications, he could arrive at any time. There are signals everywhere around to show that he will come back soon. Those signals have been everywhere ever since. Let's go. Let not your heart be troubled, no. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house is there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. So Peter prophesied to us in his epistle, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 to 4. <laughs> he said, Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last day, walking according to their own lust, saying, Where is the promise of his coming? <laughs> Since our fathers left, all things have been as they were since the beginning of creation. But it says for that in verse 9 and 10, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, 
as some do count slackness, but is long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. For the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and all the elements will melt with a fervent heat. The half and all the works therein shall be burnt up. Many believers like you have ignored the warning of the Holy Spirit, and they have dumped their spiritual commitment in the garbage bin. You and others like you no longer believe that Jesus Christ will come again as He has promised. And so, like the five foolish virgins, their oil have dried up and they are empty inside. You and others like you have suddenly forgotten about heaven and have refused to keep themselves holy for the coming of their Lord, their Master. gift I've ever given anybody in my life. What's that? Go ahead, open it. It's a golden ring. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. Taking me to your house. No, this is a special night. This is a, the most special night in my life. Proposing to the angel of my dreams. A lady of inequal beauty. Oh, you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. This calls for celebration. Yes, 
special night in my life. <laughs> I just remember, I have a very important appointment with a business associate. Appointment? You just remembered? I just remember, I have to keep it by all means. So, what's going to happen? Do you want me to wait here for you? No, we're checking out right away. You told me last night. But you got this penthouse for three days. You told me we'll, we'll, we'll have fun and enjoy ourselves. Remember? You told me you spoil me. Why, why are you cutting short this wonderful honeymoon, Nelson? The honeymoon is simply over. We need to go home. Oh, you taking me home with you? No, that will be later. I'll see you in your house tonight. Nelson, you're behaving strange. You're co completely different from yesterday. What's going on here? I'll explain to you later, okay? I have to keep this appointment very important. When you're going home, when you're leaving, make sure you drop the keys at the front desk, okay? Nelson, are you leaving me? Aren't you listening to what I'm telling you? I have a very important appointment to keep. That's why I have to go now. all over you and as you approached me 
I can smell your unfaithfulness to our marriage vows. Who have you been with? Unfortunately not. He's not a friend. He's not who you think he is. You have been with Nelson. You know him? You have been fooled. Nelson was my father's chief servant back home. What? He served for many years. Then suddenly, he began to corrupt the workers and the servants in the palace, instigating them against my father's authority. He started rebelling against my father's throne, and he was fired. You still don't believe me even when I tell you the truth. That explains why you would not believe that I would come back as I promised. When Nelson was fired from the palace, he stole a lot of my father's wealth. I know he has given you some money to deceive you. Everything he gave you belongs to my father. He stole it. What is that on your finger? An engagement ring? And what happened to our wedding ring? Oh, so you are now engaged to Nelson. And he has defiled you. You know what? Nelson came into the city on a quest for vengeance. He knows you are the apple of my eye. He knows all about the plan to relocate you to the Palatia Mansion, a wonderful castle for you and I. And that was why he came after you to deceive and to defile you before my coming. And guess what? We got you. No. But someone warned you. He told you this was not a friend, but an enemy who has come to deceive you away from your glorious future. My friends. Yes. The cops are here. Yes. Thank you very much. You may go. Princess Victoria, come with me and see the futility of your foolish wisdom. just brought him to confirm to you that we got him. He was trying to escape through the border, but we got him. We are pressing charges, and we intend to prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law. Very good. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Ah!
I was so sick. What am I looking for? I should have waited. I should have waited. Oh, oh, he said he was coming back. And he, he did. He came back. He came back. He came back. In Gospel according to Mark, chapter 13, verse 35, Jesus Christ said, Watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house will come. In the evening, or in the midnight, in the cry of the rooster, or in the morning. All those who are not expecting the coming of the Lord Jesus will cry bitterly when the trumpet sound for the rapture of the saints. There are many people like you in the church of God who are among the foolish virgins. They cover their sinful life with their cloak of service. They serve in the church without heaven in view. They sing in the choir. They teach in the church. They pastor congregation. They lead the ministry. But with their heart engrossed in sin, this is what the Lord said to us in Revelation chapter 22, verse 11 and 12. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. Who is holy, let him be holy still. Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. I think this is what the Lord said I should come and tell you. To forsake your bachelor way of life and retrace your step back to God. From work, I didn't expect you to be here. Yeah, I uh, came back just in time for the workers' meeting this evening. And besides, Pastor says he would like to have a chat with the both of us. Why have you forgotten? I have an appointment in about an hour's time. I can't make it. But Pastor will ask after you. Tell him I said I have an appointment, or just say something. Cover up. Me. Tell you like. <laughs> yeah, I can never tell you like. Especially to a man of God. My pastor. <laughs> no way. Well, I have an appointment. I can't make it to the meeting. Oh, uh, by the way, a man came in just a few minutes before you came in. He said his name is Larry. Oh my God, Larry, that's him. What did he say? He just asked after you. And he said his name is Larry and that you should meet him at the place. 
Which place? <laughs> the place. You know the place, don't you? Whatever. Anita. What is it? Why are you living a double life? Double life? I don't know what you mean. I mean, you profess to know the Lord Jesus Christ, but you deny him by the works of your hands. Are you now judging me? I'm not judging you. Because I'm concerned. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Well, good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. <laughs> Tell me, mom. Good evening, ma'am. Oh, auntie, you got yeah. married. I was just about to escape before you came in. Hey, Nita, this girl, when she told me she would not be around this evening, I know she might not be telling you. <laughs> How are you, Eunice? Auntie, I'm fine. Auntie. But, uh, what have you come to? here in central England is absolutely out of control. There are hardly words to describe it. With reports of tens of thousands of, I guess what you would have to call vanishings, now reported, the impact has been staggering. And no matter where you look around the world, it seems that almost everyone has lost someone. And there was total mayhem on city streets everywhere as people rush around trying to find their loved ones. Unfortunately, many of the world's peace officers are being forced to pay the price. Why were they taken? Why were we left behind? Thank you. 
Outing. Auntie, Auntie, which outing? I just had a terrible dream now. A dream? What is it all about? May the Lord have mercy on us. I dreamt about the rapture. Rapture? Yes. I dreamt that I missed the rapture. I could not go with the saints. And I saw you missed it too. <laughs> Anita! of the saints? Do you people still believe in that? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hello? Hello? This <laughs> girl. Oh no, I'm missing on me. No. Without a spot, we're wrinkles. 